Good morning, guys. So we are in the garden today. Um, we are just hanging out in the garden. Um, I want to thank all of our new subscribers and our new viewers. We're going to uh, do a tour of the garden today. I have a, a good many tomatoes that actually come in. Last year, I planted one tomato plant and it didn't do anything. It didn't have, it grew like to be 12 foot tall and it like all over the place like viney and stuff. But it really didn't do anything. Um, I didn't have not one tomato start come out on it. Um, a few flowers, but they all they did was start and then they died off. So this year, I'm really excited because I have a good many baby tomatoes coming out and I'm super, I'm so, so, so excited. Um, so I'm going to show y'all the garden and give y'all a tour. Okay, so here we are at my potatoes. Um, if y'all remember in, in videos before this, I planted potatoes in the actual big garden bed and I found myself um, digging potatoes all over the place. So I have put more, so I have took in this barrel that I actually cut in half for some other plants. They didn't make it, but anyways, um, I put, I cut this barrel in half and, I, and because these potatoes, actually I just set them out here on the ground and covered them up with hay and they started sprouting. So I took this barrel, I set it on top of the potatoes, and then I've just been layering it inside, and that has turned out to be pretty good. I have um, I have some the potato sprouts, so they're they're still growing pretty good. Uh, so, but I need to add more um, more stuff into this. I mean. I still got another six to eight inches to go in the barrel. So we're gonna get this filled up some more. Like even here's one coming up. Nope, that's an onion. I guess I'm just gonna let that onion grow. I didn't know that. But um so yeah, we're gonna continue to let it grow and and hopefully I'll get some good good potatoes. I'm really excited about them. I didn't think that they were actually gonna grow because I'd left them out outside in the sun for a really long time, for about a week or two before I actually covered them up. All right, so here we are at our tomato plants. I have um, some bigger tomatoes here and then some bigger tomatoes there. This plant has done really well. It has some, it has some tomatoes on it. Uh, I don't know where they are right now, this one. I can't find them because of the foliage, the, the leaves and stuff are in the way. But um, a tomato plant that I wanted to talk to y'all about is, or I wanted to show you, this is my first time growing these white Cranton tomato plants. This one has done, this one, this one is doing really, really good. I need to add some more dirt because it is on a slope. I need to add some more dirt around all my tomato plants, but it is doing really good. Um, this is the biggest one that we've that we've got out of all of the white Cranston, and I think I'm saying that right. But uh, this is the biggest one that we've gotten out of all of them. But they're really, I'm really excited. I'm really, uh, we still have a good a while of growing season, so. Hopefully by the end of the season, uh, before it turns to frost, we will we'll have some more. Um, let's go, mommy. Next, we're gonna go over here into this little corner where I've got beans and butternut squash and peppers growing. Okay, so here we are in the little little corner. Um, I have beans, green beans growing on this side along the fence line. That's what all this is right here. Uh, they're doing really good. Basically all it is is 
what I've gotten so far is maybe enough for one meal. Um, but they're doing really good. I'm, I'm really proud of my green beans. I've never grown green beans. I had a little bit of uh, trouble uh, first starting out. But they are doing, they're doing wonderful in this spot. Um, and then behind me, I have some pepper plants that are, that are doing really good. It's not much. I started those from seeds. From, um, so we're going to, we're going to see how they continue to grow. And if I don't get any peppers, it doesn't, it's not going to bother me. Um, it's just the fact of trying and seeing what goes where and what, what grows best in what place. Uh, right here in front of me, okay, right here, right here in front of me, um, this is butternut squash. This is, it's small, it takes, in this area of the garden, it takes a little bit longer for things to grow and produce something than it normally would if it's in the full sun or over there in, in full sun. But over here, my butternut squash are doing great. Um, I can't wait to see if this stuff was, there's actually flower buds coming off of them. Um, so we're going to see what happens and, and where we're going with that. Okay, so now we are over here at my tomato jungle. jungle. This is, um, basically it was just a big compost pile that I got kind of fed up with and I just raked it all out into the ground. Um, but this is doing really well. This is doing really, really well. I have tomatoes growing. There's one back here. There's some on this plant. Um, they're just all over the place. And I actually had to pick this one up because this one fell over. We had a pretty, pretty bad storm. The other day and knocked everything over. I need to tie tie some stuff up. Oy. I need some tie to tie some stuff up and rake some stuff up and kind of straighten everything out. Uh, but yeah, this is my kind of jumbled mess, and I just had a buttload of uh, tomato plants left over from whenever I did the ones around the garden and stuff like that so I just put them here because I didn't have nowhere else to put them and I didn't want them to go waste so here they are um, and in I want to show you some in all of this chaos we have something growing that I didn't know that was there so I want to show y'all yeah. alright so here is this beautiful watermelon plant that I did not know was planted here but it come up and I just left it um, I got I had I have two flowers coming out back here well I had one I have two and there's some more there's another one right there it's coming out So I'm really excited about about this uh, watermelon plant. Um, it was just like a surprise, and when you grow, you never know. You might get just get a surprise out of the blue. So, for my garden, my garden is doing wonderful, just wonderful. Um, I do not know what type of watermelon this is, but hopefully it does grow because my daughter Courtney is really excited about it. Okay, and then this plant right here, we have uh, our strawberries, and they're pretty much almost done. Uh, honestly, we did not get any strawberries because the little roly polies bugs just ate them all up. And this one, there's one right, right here. And the daggum slug had gotten to it. So yeah, this is 
this is basically pretty much all done and we're gonna um, I gotta figure out if it will keep growing like this or if it will or if it will um, come back next year I do not know so we're gonna wait and see on that I have to do some research on that all right so we are in the on the front side of the garden bed the main garden bed um, I have a watermelon growing here that really hasn't done much it's just itty bitty tiny I don't know what kind of watermelon it is I don't know what it's gonna do but once again it just popped up from nowhere um, you seem to have a lot of that when you have, have kids helping you plant but you know they gotta learn just as well as we do uh, on this one I do have a good on this tomato plant I do have some uh, tomatoes growing on it really well this one is kind of just like wimp but I'm just gonna keep letting it grow you never know what's gonna happen uh, I do have a sunflower that's right here behind me this is the sunflower this is a little bitty thing it's just just barely growing um, I don't know why they're, why they're so short. It probably has to do with the sun once again. But for the longest time, my husband's like, that's not a, that's not a sunflower, that's a weed. Well, I showed him that there is a sunflower growing right there. And this one is, this one just got eaten. Man, those little garden pests, I can't do nothing with them. So here we are inside, I'm inside the garden bed, um, and I have, in this front row right here, I have zucchini squash that has, is really starting to grow, um, then I have my, my sweet peas, they're doing good, and behind me, over here, I have my uh, cucumbers, they're not doing so good, but we're just going to see. Uh, um, I made these trellises out of twine string um, off of the hay bales that I got from my grand grandmother. Uh, and I made it with some cedar post except for this back one. But these other ones are like cedar trees that my husband and I cut down so we can get some more um, sun in this little area. And I have some videos on, how, on when we did that and how we did that uh, in some other videos. Um, this actually was up there. It was hanging up there. And I just brought it down here because I just wanted to clean it out a little bit. I mean, it looks... it. it I forgot to water it. It's a flower. It's a hanging flower. I forgot to water it. And that's just what happened. Uh, so I'm nursing that back to help. Just don't touch but everything is doing really really good I'm super excited about this this is my first bed so the dirt is the soil as I should say is just now getting to where it's 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 right um, my like I said my first year my tomato plants I planted them my tomato plant I planted it in here and then it didn't do that well all it did was just keep growing and growing and growing and it never produced anything. So, um, next we're going to go over here to the dog bed garden and we're going to see um, what's growing in there and and give y'all and also give y'all an update on the the tomato plant that I planted in there. So. Alright, so here we are at the dog bed garden and that sun is very, very bright. Uh, as you can see, my tomato plants that I planted in here aren't doing that well. Um, but it's alright. It was just a test run and I just needed some place to plant them. Uh, this bed is going to get some more soil added to it. Uh, just to kind of get rid of some of the nitrogen in it. And uh, so we're going to get, we're going to do that. Uh, I did plant some sweet potatoes in here, but as you can see, they're getting burnt up. But I mean, it's all right. It ain't no big deal. I'm not. It's always a learning experience. Um, that's why we only have 
half of this bag filled up is because when we go to dump other soil and dirt into here, we're gonna just gonna mix everything together, and I'm just gonna pull out these plants, and uh, we'll plant a a fall a fall garden in here. So that's just what we're doing now, guys. So here we are in the little butternut squash area. We have a butternut squash coming on here. It's right here. And it's doing really good. I'm really happy about it. There's some other ones come fixing to come on. Um, we're gonna move on. Let's see, there's some deal in the front of this bed. There's blackberries back here that are doing really good. Um, a lot of them have died off. A lot of them got eaten by rabbits. Because in this area we have a lot of rabbits that come up here in the middle of the night and eat. And I know that because I've seen them. Alright guys, so we are in the cucumber area. Uh, this area is doing really, really, really good. Uh, we have gotten already probably six cucumbers off this, uh, out of this area. So, we have a good many cucumbers growing. Uh, here's one right here. It's probably ready to be picked. Uh, so we got one right there. I'm just going to go ahead and pick that one because that one's about to fall off anyways. But I don't want it to fall and hit the ground and the bugs get it. So we're going to pick this one. But, no, we have a good mini here. There's one right there that's coming in. There's one there. There's two over there. Uh, this area has done really well and it has always done really well. The soil is just perfect and the amendments are right and... Okay, and then also in this area, the cucumber area, we have some squash plants behind on the other side. That's yellow squash plants, and they're doing really good. Um, I don't know if there's any squash on it, but I know they're doing really good. Let's let's go over here and look. We are on the other side of the cucumbers. There's actually cucumbers over here. And have made their way into this area. See, there's one little baby one right there. Um, but they're doing really good. But I wanted to show y'all over here in the, the squashes. Let me get around all this stuff. Let's see. Um, All I see on the squashes is the the yellow squash. It's flowers. I don't see any any other stuff like that. Like I said, these things have really, really grown. I'm amazed at how much they've grown. Yep. There's one there. There's two. Looks like we have some cucumber harvest to do. This is the green bean area. It gets a lot of sun. There's a lot of a lot of green beans in here that need to be picked. Like this one would be like there's some oh my goodness, they're everywhere. So we need to we need to pick some green beans. Uh, these green beans have done really, really good. I'm really excited about them. Uh, they have really produced. We've done gotten two pickings out of these green beans, and they're continuing to produce. And it's still early in the season. So I believe that's what we're going to do this afternoon uh, is get out here and pick some green beans. Now over here... In this area, we have our tomato plants. All right, we have our cherry tomatoes and our bigger uh, 
big tomatoes that uh, have really started producing. We got some. I just seen some. What? Yeah, we got some that are some of these cherry tomatoes that are turning red. They're doing really good. I'm really excited about them. Now over there in the tomatoes, there is um, some of those plants are actually from my garden area that I had left over, and that's how that's what I say whenever they do they produce and grow differently in light. Uh, my tomatoes over there in the other garden are growing at a slower rate than these tomatoes right here, um, but. These tomatoes, they've already gotten pretty darn big. Let me take you over there and show you one of the bigger tomatoes. These are the tomatoes that are growing really, really well. And there's some down there on the, on the further down. And there is some more tomatoes right there. They're growing really, really well. Alright, so that's pretty much it of my garden tour. Um, thank y'all for watching, and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you really, if you like the video, then please click the like button. Um, but but I hope you liked it, and y'all have a wonderful day. Thank y'all for watching. Levi, don't eat dirt. Don't do that.